so this is interesting. That wasn't there two days ago, and it hasn't rained. You can see the soil is wet around it. And this is what I tell you guys, this is the reason for the, the sort of quicksand effect that we get out here. You know, I've showed you the milkshake mud before, but this is actually really intriguing to see liquid water. Two days ago, I was digging right there, obviously, and I noticed that the, the soil was wetter, but I didn't see any free water. And so now what we're seeing two days later is there's been enough compaction or subsidence somewhere else that it has allowed this free water to come to surface. It could be probably from where I'm sitting. I'm sitting up here on this big pile and I'm weighing it down. I'll probably squeeze some water over there, but it's really interesting to see it as liquid water and not milkshake mud. That's a first for me. Um, but it explains why, you know, um, over here where I'm hauling, if I can get the machine to turn around, a little throttle here. Um, over here where I'm hauling, I mean, it hasn't rained for two months, but right here, there's a, a pumpy spot. And I've filled it, and we've bladed it, and I've ran over it, you know, almost a hundred times or whatever, ran over the truck, and it just squishes around like Play-Doh, but it won't come to the surface. So that's another one of those spots that's got this little pocket of water under it. So, you know, people whine and complain about the shallow water table or blah, blah, blah. It's not the water table. It's just these little pockets of water. And so by, you know, digging out everywhere where I'm going to put the house and making sure that none of those pockets exist, and then I'll backfill with clay on top of clay so those pockets can't recreate like the code with a sandy permeable soil, I will make sure that I don't have this mythical shallow water table springing up and, you know, making my basement leak or giving me foundation problems. So, you know, it, it, I just, I want to talk about that and I want to share that whenever I find it. Again, all this water, that's all rainwater. And this little puddle here is not at that same depth. It's much higher above it. So it's not like that's something that has, you know, percolated over because of a sandy layer underneath of me. This is a unique little pocket of water. And the, and the reason it exists, I know, is because right through here, forget the sun, right through here on that direction is that sort of uh, creek where there should be a creek, but there's not a creek. So it's just that kind of little low spot that it, it'll hold water longer in the year than anything else. Um, so yeah, anyway, just that's interesting. So I'll just mix some dry dirt in with it and I'll haul one or two loads of uh, moist dirt. But it'll be interesting to see how this shapes up as I work tonight. Gonna keep hauling. So I mentioned that that area holds water. If you look right in there, you can see it reflecting. So there's actually standing water there right now, even though it hasn't rained for about two months. Part of that might be my fault. Um, for pumping. I pumped out the whole pond. Now I pumped it out over there, but I've watched water flow around here before and find its way over towards this little ditch. So that could be water that I put there artificially, um, but it's there and everything else out through the woods is dry. So it will stay dry or it will still wait, stay wet. That should be helpful. You see I dug in there. I took out a couple bites, started around. There's still a little bit of free water and uh, wouldn't surprise me if I come back, you know, tomorrow or the next day and find a little puddle there again. It could be seeping in underneath my little dam that I built up there. I mean, that's just loose fill. I didn't pack it or nothing. I didn't think about that water being there, but by the time we get another rain, I would think it will have settled and packed enough that it will be, it should be a, uh, a barrier. I mean, that's all I did all over there. Is that same, just loose dump it. And it's all set up just fine and works as a barrier. So this, this will, eventually worst case if i have to i'll once i get all this dug out i'll go along with the bucket and smack it with the bucket and pack it in but i think it'll it'll settle and, and hold up just fine